Praise the Lord Church. Today's Bible meditation is taken from 2 Kings chapters 5 through 8. In these chapters, the key takeaway is about God heals. 2 Kings chapter 5 verses 3 through 19. One day the girl said to her mistress, I wish my master would go to see the prophet in Samaria. He would heal him of his leprosy. The letter to the king of Israel said, With this letter I present my servant Naaman. I want you to heal him of his leprosy. But when Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his clothes in dismay, he sent this message to him. Why are you so upset? Send Naaman to me, and he will learn that there is a true prophet here in Israel. So Naaman went with his horses and chariots and waited at the door of Elisha's house. But Elisha sent a messenger out to him with this message, Go and wash yourself seven times in the Jordan River, then your skin will be restored and you will be healed of your leprosy. But Naaman became very angry and stalked away. I thought he would certainly come out to meet me, he said. I expected him to wave his hand over the leprosy and call on the name of the Lord his God and heal me. But his officers tried to reason with him and said, Sir, if the prophet had told you to do something very difficult, wouldn't you have done it? So you should certainly obey him when he says, Simply go and wash and be cured. So Naaman went down to the Jordan River and dipped himself seven times as the man of God had instructed him, and his skin became as healthy as the skin of a young child, and he was healed. Then Naaman and his entire party went back to find the man of God. They stood before him, and Naaman said, Now I know that there is no God in all the world except in Israel, so please accept a gift from your servant. But Elisha replied, As surely as the Lord lives, whom I serve, I will not accept any gifts. And though Naaman urged him to take the gift, Elisha refused. Then Naaman said, All right, but please allow me to load two of my mules with earth from this place, and I will take it back home with me. From now on, I will never again offer burnt offerings or sacrifices to any other god except the Lord. However, may the Lord pardon me in this one thing. When my master, the king, goes into the temple of the god Rimon to worship there and leans on my arm, may the Lord pardon me when I bow too. Go in peace, Elisha said. So Naaman started home again. God the Almighty is the one who heals us. Elisha has the power of God Almighty the brought in healing into Naaman's life. In this narrative, we see the faith of the young servant girl, the pride that Naaman had, and the king that was furious as he lacked the capability to heal. When we humble ourselves and believe in God Almighty and his name, he will heal us. As it is written in Luke chapter 4, verse 27, and many in Israel had leprosy in the time of the prophet Elisha, but the only one healed was Naaman, a Syrian. May we be like Naaman, who received his healing by believing, putting aside his pride, and acting upon the word of God from the prophet Elisha. Let us also receive that healing that we need, whether it is emotional, physical, or spiritual, by reading God's word and applying it into our lives and putting aside all pride so that we will be healed of all our sickness and disease. Praise be to our wonder working God in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you for watching the videos and being part of Living God community. God bless you all abundantly.